Welcome back to the Pokemon Hardcore Walkthrough Part 5. We are finally going to head to Violet City and just when I ran the grass, a wild Pokemon appeared. Oh yeah, Bell Sprouts. I recommend this. Do not catch any Bell Sprout over here. That's what I recommend. I recommend you catch Bell Sprouts in a different area, and I'll show you that area um in a second, right after I'm done battling all these Bell Sprouts, actually getting through these grasses. Ugh. Eesh. Okay, move on. Along in the Violet City before you come in. It's Lyra! With her Meryl. Yeah, how did I get past her? She'll give you the VS Recorder. That's new in the game. Yeah, you won't let me pass. You won't let me. Yeah, haha. -ha. Okay, let's get going. Welcome to Violet City. City. Pokemon Center is a little bit different. It's a little purplish. Purple, sort of, I guess. I guess I should heal up my Pokemon before I get going and start showing you around Violet City. Okay, this house here is home to the guy with the onyx that you can trade him for a bell sprout, which is kind of odd. Why would he want a bell sprout and trade away his onyx? Who knows? But um, I'm not gonna get that onyx really. Actually, you know what? I think I should get that onyx probably. Oh, whatever. Anyways, this is the Pokemon School over here, but there's no teacher. Well, that teacher is apparently near the gym. See that fat dude over there? That's the teacher. I uh, didn't mean when you did. Uh, I didn't dial the gym layer out, so I, so I'll say no. So he'll be you'll, you'll be forced to follow this guy. He's gonna show you to the Pokemon School. That was Earl. Who? Saying okay. Let's go in the gym and battle Faulkner. Let's go. But new in the game, apparently. Uh, oh, come on. I wanted to challenge Faulkner already. I'm sure I was ready. Darn it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. What matters now is just to move along. Anyways, you'll find a yellow apricot corner over here, so I'm gonna just like burnt. Yeah. There are no apricots. I actually did that again. Okay, Route 32 over here. You'll be able to collect some Pokemon. There, actually, this is a good place to start catching Pokemon here. It's really good to start catching Pokemon here. I'll find Zubats over here because it's like probably night out. Out. You. Oh yeah, you should also go to this area mostly because there are a lot of po good Pokemon. Why do I keep running into Zubats? Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Darn it. Come on, where are the Marys and stuff? Where are the Marys and Elsprouts? Okay, that's not close enough. <laughs> Okay, here's something we need to catch a Mary. Level 6. You'll find Mary's over here. And this is a good area to get some Pokemon. I recommend you catch a Mary here if you want it. If you want it to, to journey. Oh crap, static. Ah! I'm unable to move. Be able to move at all, really. Oh my god. Help me. Come on, backfire. Don't don't give up. Mary's ability is gonna be static, I guess. Knows how to use Growl too, and Tackle. It learns Thundershock at level 10, so that's gonna be very, very. It'll just be very, very bothersome for you just to wait for a long time until 
We got something done. Anyways, this is my first top Pokemon. Alright, here we go. First Pokeball thrown. Oh my god. One, two, three. Yeah, and that is how we do it. Alright. We caught a Mary. That is great. Yes, I want to give a nickname to Mary. Hmm. How about I give a nickname of Volt Sheep? Awesome. We got ourselves a we got ourselves a Mary. That is great. We have now have a Mary on our team, and now we better go back to heal up before we head up Sprat Tower. Now, the only reason we're heading up Sprat Tower is it's gonna be a long time as we like, you know, head up Sprat Tower at one at a time, and plus, I don't know. But never mind. Whatever, let's just heal up first. And then get Mary to come out and and say hello to the world. Out of the Pokeball, yippee! <laughs> they really did well with Violet City. I mean, Nintendo just like aces uh, how they like change the games. Look at that! That is so cool. The Pokemon Trainer School. Now Sprout Tower is across a lake. Now it's pretty much usually. All right, time to head to Sprout Tower. Time to start. Sprout Tower, there are Rattatas, and sometimes there are Gastlys in here. Gastlys are pretty good Pokemon. You might want to catch those. So, yeah. But, oh, crap. I think we ran into a Rattata. I was right. However, I'm going to run away from it because there's no point in battling a Rattata. You got to be kidding Another one? This one's level 5. Whoa. Let's not battle it. I don't feel like battling any Rata does right now. Okay, this is your first guy you're going to be facing on your way up Sprout Tower. Get your TM instead of the old HM Flash. You'll get the TM to Flash now. If you notice, they changed that in Diamond and Pearl and made it TN70. Flash, yeah. Okay, most of the trainers here are using level 3 Bell Sprouts on your way up. Basically, the first three trainers you'll meet will have three, three level 3 Bell Sprouts. They're pretty much easy to defeat, I think. So you shouldn't have any problem trying to defeat them. Okay, Volchi is growing up fast. Yikes! Whoa! Did not expect that. Whole, oh, but it didn't level up, so that sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna just switch up to backfire, and then back to um, Volchi. Okay, time to go back to Volt Sheep and hope that it does well too. Now, Mary can gain a lot of points. Really, a lot of points from battling. It's 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 awesome how you can gain those points. So cool. Oh god, critical hit. Oh yeah, it paralyzed. Okay, let's defeat this dumbbell sprout. Whoop de doo. Okay, next time on the Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, we'll be heading up Sprout Tower. So next time, goodbye folks.